Welcome back to Foxtech and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add articles and websites to your reading list in a Safari on your iPhone. The reading list is a handy feature which allows you to save web pages for later, which makes it different from bookmarks or favorites. Let's dive into how you can effectively use this feature. At first, let's understand uh, what the reading list is. The reading list is similar to bookmarks, but is designed for articles or websites you want to save for later reading. This can include news articles, blog posts, or any web page you want to come back to when you have more time. Unlike bookmarks, which are often used for frequently visited sites, the reading list is perfect for temporary saves, which get deleted after you read them. To add a web page to your reading list, open Safari on your iPhone and then navigate to the article or web page you want to save. Once you have the page open, look at the bottom of Safari interface and find the share icon, which looks like a square with an arrow pointing up. So tap on this share icon to bring up a menu of options. In the share menu, you'll see several options, including one marked with glasses icon and labeled add to reading list. Tap this option to add the current web page to your reading list. This way, you can easily save any website you want to read later without losing track of it. To access your reading list, tap on the bookmarks icon at the bottom of Safari, which looks like an open book. When you tap on it, you'll see three sections, bookmarks, reading list, and history. The reading list is identified by the glasses icon, so tap on this icon to see all the web pages you've saved for your reading list and reading later. Managing your reading list is a very straightforward method, and if you want to remove an item from your reading list, simply swipe left on it and just tap the delete button. This action will remove the web page from your reading list, keeping it organized and up to date. You can also manage your reading list from a new tab in a Safari. So when you open a new tab, you can choose to display or hide your reading list items from there. This makes it easy to keep track of your saved articles and quickly access them whenever you open a new tab. So in the new tab, you just have to locate the edit button and toggle it on or toggle it off according to your needs. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up and I'll see you guys later in the future.